Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome to a tutorial using the Walking on Eggshells palette from Wet n Wild as well as the Maybelline Eye Studio. This is the Made for Mauve palette. Um, it kind of didn't turn out the best that it could have turned out, but on my channel I'm all about being real with you guys. So, um, basically, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I, every February I try to do a Valentine's Day look for every day of the month in February up until Valentine's Day. I don't know if I've ever been 100% successful at actually doing this, but that is usually my goal with February. <laughs> so, um, whether it fails or not, you know, this is the makeup I'm wearing today. So, this is what we're doing. Um, and um, it, it kind of turned into like a smoky, peachy kind of look. Kind of. Um, and so anyway, uh, please look forward to more videos from me. I'm going to be having a mix of drugstore and high-end for these Valentine's Day looks. Um, and yeah, without further ado, here is the tutorial. Alright, so the first step that I did was go ahead and take the crease shade from the Walking on Eggshell palette. And I just uh, slathered this on up in my crease. Um, just to kind of give this look a little bit of dimension, the quad that we're using does not have like a distinctive crease shade, so I just kind of went with this one and like pulled in a different drugstore palette to kind of round out the look. Then I went in with the uh, lighter shade in this Walking on Eggshell palette and I just went over the crease again just to kind of blend it out and lighten it up. Now I was hoping it was more of a matte shade but <laughs> it ended up being a shimmer shade but oh well you know sometimes you do what you do right? <laughs> then I went in with the darkest shade in the Maybelline quad and I just put that on the outer corner just to give the look some more dimension. I don't know I just thought it would overall help. And then I went ahead and I went in with the green shade from the Maybelline Quad. Um, once again, just to add a little bit of dimension, um, you know, add a little bit like of darkness, sultriness to the look. And then I went in with the mauve shade, which is next to the green shade. And I went ahead and I put that on the lid. Um, this is what kind of brings out the pink, I guess. And then on the inner corner, I used the lightest shade in the quad. And overall, this is the look I got. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned to see what else is on my face. Thanks for watching. So really quickly, I'm going to go over the rest of what is on my face. I am wearing the CoverGirl Outlast. And I did go ahead and put on the... Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Um, so I did pair these two up, which I think looks really great on my skin, honestly. This is like my favorite combination right now, just because my skin is so dry right now. So it's really working for me. And then I went ahead and I used the Coverall Runway Matte Palette. It's kind of, The reason why it's kind of dirty is because I've had to clean some eyeshadow palettes that I'm selling. Um you know, to sanitize them. And I'm also wearing the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and like the little droplets are getting into my makeup thing, if that makes any sense. So I kind of got these little splotches on the packaging. I think you can see it. But anyway, not even the point, and I don't even know if I'm in focus. Sorry, guys. Um, Alright, so that's, that's what's um, on my face. I did use the Milani Eye Primer for my eyelids before I put on the eyeshadow palettes. And then on my lips, I'm wearing a NYX Look With a Suede Lipstick. I believe it's the shade Amethyst. And then I topped it off with this Revlon Ultra Matte Lip Color. I really am digging this combination. It's a little different, but I really like it. And then oh, my mascara, I'm using the Lashaholic from Hard Candy, which I gotta say, this mascara is pretty great. Um, for my blush, I'm wearing the... Um, Glow All The Way Hard Candy Blush. This is in the shade Punch. I think it looks really, really pretty. And then that highlight you're seeing is the Trolls Highlight from Hard Candy as well. Um, it's the Prismatic Luminizer. So, yeah. I, I really like this highlighter too. Like, it's really 
bam like my cheeks are glowing <laughs> which I don't really mind that too much so that is everything that is on my face thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys